In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The words of the prophet Joel are both an urgent exhortation and a comforting revelation. We should return to the Lord because He is gracious and merciful. The Lord forgives us our transgressions and give us healing. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, is low to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was steered to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and the willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have seen the grace of God manifest in Jesus, who deliver us from sin. Lent is an acceptable time to stay close to Jesus in his work of salvation. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, 
we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be seen who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time, I heard you, and on the day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. If today you hear your voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your Heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your alms giving might may be secret and your father who sees in secret will repay you when you pray do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and in the street corners so that others may see them amen i say to you they have received the reward but when you pray go to your inner room close the door and pray to your father in secret and your father who sees in secret will repay you when you fast do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received the reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Alam ko iba sa inyo dito, medyo malayo pa ang pinanggalingan. Balat kayo. Alam niyo yung kantang, Balat kayo pala, pag-ibig mo na natubog lang sa ginto. Sa mga may edad na alam nila ito. Balat kayo. Pagbabalat kayo. Uso ngayon yan. Di ba? Lalong-lalo na na election time. That is why the Lord is reminding us to go back to the basics. Lenten season is a call for renewal and a call to go back to the basics. At ano po yung basic na ito? Relationships. Relationship with ourselves, with other people around us, and a relationship with God. Kaya kung makikita sa ibang hilong binasa ng tatlo ito, fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. Ito po yung ginagawa ng mga Hudyo sa panahon ni Kristo. The righteousness of a, of a Jew is to faithfully follow this. They pray, they fast, and they give almsgiving. Ba't ka po sinasabi itong basic itong mga to? Sapagkat relationships, fasting, it's all about yourself. Fasting about how you could 
discipline yourself, how you could control yourself. Fasting yan. Hanggang saan ba ang kaya mong gawin na isakripisyo? O kaya ay hanggang saan ba yung kaya mong gawin na disiplina ang sarili mo? It's all about you, your self-restraint, your self-control. Fasting, hindi po fast eating. Fasting, nakapagka, uh, hindi mo na ako kakain. Pero hindi lang naman ito napapatungkol sa pagkain. Napapatungkol din to sa ating mga attitude sa buhay. Kung tayo po ay nagchichismis Monday to uh, whole week, pwede gawin naman natin Monday, Wednesday, Friday na lang. Bawasan natin ng konti. Ibig ko lang talaga sabihin, it's on how we control ourselves. Arms giving is all about a relationship with other people on how we reach out to them. How we reach out to them. Paano tayo tutumulong, makialam sa ibang tao. It's all about our relationship with one another. Sabi nga sa isang kanta, Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang at walang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Sapagkat lahat talaga tayo dito ay magkaugnay at lahat tayo dito ay babalik sa Diyos. Kaya titignan natin ito yung relationship natin with another. How we reach out to people. Kasi maaring yung kasama mo, maaring hindi man nila kailangan yung material na bagay but they need other things. May kilala nga ako. Hindi niya kailangan ng pera. Hindi niya rin kailangan na kung ano-ano pa. Ang yaman, yaman. Pero anong, alam, alam mo kung anong need niya? Meron lang makinig sa kanya. Kaya natawa ako dito. Isang ito, kwento, lang, kwento ko lang. After ng misa ko sa isang uh, mapit sa akin, Father, E ang misa namin doon, 6.30 ng umaga. Actually, 6.15. Rosary yan, 6.30. So, maaga kagigising. That time, galing ako sa recollection o retreat ata yon Then, pagdating doon eh, ako pa magbimisa the next day. So, pagod pa ako. Sa loob-loob ko eh, may lumapit sa after ng misa. Lumapit sa akin yung may edad na, lalaki. Father, pwede kayong makausap? Sa loob-loob ko eh, pwede mamaya na gusto ko muna matulog eh. Gusto ko, antok na, pagod na, pagod na. O, o, sabi ko, sige, pagbigyan ko na. Okay, o, sige po, pinapasok ko pa sa convent namin. Yan. Sabi ko, o, sige po, ano pong pag-uusapan natin? Nakipagkuntuhan lang. O, sabi sa akin, Father, mukhang mabait ka na pare. Sabi ko, ah, uh, well, sabi ko, okay. Since Father, mabait ka na pare, uh, binigyan niya ako ng 5,000. Sabi ko, ah, Ganun pala yun. Sabi ko sa loob ko, buti lang hindi ako snabero that time. 5,000 din yun. <laughs> Tapos sabi ko, oh, magkapi po kayo. Nagkapi ako. Kapi kami. Kwentuhan. Pero, at taba ko may mahin, anong oras ka aalis? Antok na antok na ako. Aba, nagkwentuhan kami. Napahaba aming kwentuhan. Napahaba. Nakalimutan ko na yung oras. Imagine mo, nagkwentuhan kami. Mula 7.15 hanggang 8.30 ng umaga. Alam ko ano-ano. Doon ko pala na-realize na itong kausap ko pala, sobrang yaman pala. Hindi ko lang sabihin ko anong business niya. Huwag kayo mag-alala, hindi drugs. <laughs> Bago umalis eh, sabi niya, Father, may kailangan ba kayo dito sa, sa chapel ninyo na maliit? Sabi ko, uh, marami po, pero we, we could manage. Kumuha ng ano, check eh. Sinulatan ng ano, nagsulat ng number na one. Binilang ko yung zero. Isa, dalawa, tatlo. Sabi ko baka one thousand lang ito. Tatlo, ah, one thousand. Dinagdagan pa ng isang zero. Ten thousand na. Naglagay ng ano, ng uh, limang zero. So ilan yun? One hundred thousand. Sabi niya, Father, para sa simbahan niyo po, Ko, ah, para saan po? Para simbahan niyo po, Father. Sa inyo na po. Dito sa... Oh, sige po. Thank you. Sa community namin doon. Tapos sabi niya, Salamat, Father. Ha? Nakinig kayo. 
sa mga sabi niya, kung ano lang pinag-usap, oh, sige, okay lang po, ganyan. Pag alis niya, sabi niya sa, pag alis niya, salamat po, Father, sabi ko sa kanya, bukas po, available lang po ako, gusto mong kausap ulit. <laughs> yung need niya kasi, minsan, hindi naman kailan yung almsgiving, pera, pagkain, ayuda. Minsan, there are people who need just an ear. Katuloy, kapag ka may mga ganun eh, kapag ka mayroon, Father, pwede kayo makausap na lumalapit sa akin, ah, uh, sige. You see, our relationship with one another. Yung pangatlo yung tatawad our relationship with God, which is prayer. Prayer po. Sabi nga, our worship is pointless if it is not seen in our action and in our life. And our action is meaningless if it is not rooted in our faith. Ibig sabihin po sa Tagalog, ang ating pagsamba ay walang katuturan kapag ka hindi ito nakikita sa ating gawa at sa ating pamumuhay. At ang ating mga ginagawa ay walang kahulugan kapag ito po ay hindi nakaugat sa ating palataya. Prayer is all about the integrity of our own person. It's all about the integrity of our faith with God. Kaya titingnan natin, kapag tayo po yung nagdarasal, it's really all about us and God. Kaya minsan nagtataka ako ngayon na ang dami-daming politicians na kapag pupunta sa simbahan, nagdadala ng isang batalyon na photographers. Ba't kailangan pang ganun? Nawawala tuloy ang sincerity at nawawala tuloy ang sacredness ng simbahan. Baka sabi niya, Father, may pinapatamaan kayo. Hindi po. Halos lahat naman po sila, ganun. Kaya mas gusto ko pa yung, eh, minsan dito may mga politicians dito, Father, pwedeng magpadasal sa'yo? Dinadasalan ko po. One time, eh, Father, pwedeng magpadasal? Eh, dinasalan ko po. Tapos, merong assistant niya ata. Isang grupo sila eh. Father, pwedeng may picture ba? No. Sabi ko, wala, wala pong picture sa... I will pray for your good health. I will pray for your safety. Kung manalo man kayo, thanks be to God. But kukunan nyo ko ng picture, gaganunan ko kayo sa sabihin, makatao, idadamay nyo pa ako sa inyong tarpulin. Akala nyo mananalo kayo dahil sa akin. Hindi po. Oh. Maraming nababawasan po yung sincerity. Meron po napapadasa kayo. Minsan sa pagkamay, Father, napapadasa, oh sige. Uh, may camera ba? Pag ganyan ako, uh, pwede walang camera. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to announce to the world that you are praying. Because most of the times it is about you and about God. Kaya minsan nawawala yung sincerity. Father, kayo po ay nagbimisa dito in public. Oh, trabaho namin. But you know, hindi naman kailangan kunan lahat eh. Sa panahon ngayon na medyo malakas ang social media, mapapansin ninyo na lahat ng ginagawa ng isang tao ay pinipicturan, binibidyuhan. Pansin niyo yan? My day, pagising pa lang. Ganun ngayon eh. Pipicturan, pagkain, bago kainin. My breakfast. Ganun na ngayon eh. Pagtutulong sa kapwa, mag-aabot lang ng isang sakong, uh, isang, isang kilong bigas at saka mga dilata. May picture pa. Picture, smile, Father. Pwede naman kasing walang camera eh. Sasabihin kasi, Father, for documentation, well, it's good. Kasi baka hanap, oh yeah, it's good. Kaya nga, sa totoo lang, when you fast, when you pray, and when you give alms giving, always check our motivation. Kasi marami sa atin ang tinatawag natin na balat kayo pala. Nagbabalat kayo lang. And sad to say, people may see you as good externally, but God sees the heart. God sees what is in you. Kaya ang hirap ng ganyan. Hindi mo maitatago sa Diyos kung ikaw ba'y plastic o hindi. Ikaw ba'y nagbabalat kayo o hindi. Di ba? 
Kaya o inawarningan tayo ng Diyos ngayon na sa pagsisimula ng ating Lenten season, let us go back to the basic. Huwag magbalat kayo sa relationship mo, sa sarili mo, magpakatutuo ka. Huwag magbalat kayo sa pagtulong sa iba. Huwag magbalat kayo sa pagdarasal sapagkat nakikita ng Diyos what is in your heart. Yeah, maraming yan, uso ngayon yan eh. Pagkatapos maglagay ng cross dito sa noo, na picture agad yan, fulfilling my obligation. With something, smile pa. Tapos may amaya, pupunta sa isang samgyupsal. Fasting po. Oh. Sa mundo natin ngayon, uso na ang magpasikat. Nakalimutan na natin yung tinatawag natin na pwede naman kasi maging discreet. Ngayon, maglalagay po tayo ng abo sa noo natin. Lahat. Alam niyo po ang sinasabi niya ng pare, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Pero may isang formula na sinasabi na ikaw ay galing sa abo at babalik din sa abo. In very simple term, ang sinasabi dyan, mamamatay ka rin. O, ganun talaga, di ba? Galing ka sa abo, babalik ka sa abo. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Mamamatay ka rin. Kaya pag mga, minsan pag naglalagay ako nito, eh, pag kilala ko na medyo mayabang, uy, mamamatay ka rin. Yeah. Yung medyo may pagkatanga, naku, ito, medyo tatanga-tanga ito, mauna ka. Sa mga may edad na, no? Pag, oh, oh, may mga may edad dito, no? Pag lapit, ay, naku, malapit na ito. Tapos uh, pag, pag nakita ko, may sakit na, ito, Lord, ilang buwan na lang ito. That is the reality that we embrace that all of us will die. Pero hindi po yun kung mamamatay tayo, ay importante on how we live our lives. The quality of life that we live. Whether tayo ba ay sa ating sarili ay secure na kapag ka tinawag ka na ni Lord, Norman, tama na, kukunin na kita. Ano sabihin ko? Lord, thank you. Quality, whether tatanawin ka, oh Norman, anong ginawa mo sa 43 years na binigay ko sa iyo? Kumusta ang mga tao na sa paligid mo? Masaya ba sila sa iyo? Ba, ba, maaring masaya ka sa buhay mo pero na sa paligid mo. Masaya nung namatay ka. May ganun eh. At tatanungin niya sa atin, ano, mo ba, ano bang ginawa mo sa mga tao na binigay ko sa iyo? Ikaw ba'y nagpapasalamat sa akin? All of us will die eventually. Ang mahalaga, the quality of life that we live. At makikita natin yung quality of life sa buhay natin if we live a life with integrity. A life na hindi ka nagbabalat kayo. Totoo ka sa sarili mo, Totoo ka sa kapwa mo at totoo ka sa harap ng Diyos. Yun ang mahalaga. Kaya nga paglagay natin mamaya, no? turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. A call for us to renewal and going back to the basics. Let us check our motives when we pray. Let us check our motives when we give alms. Let us check our motives when we fast. Baka at sana hindi darating yung panahon na sasabihan tayo ng Diyos, balat kayo pala ang pag-ibig mo. Ngayon po, maglalagay na po tayo ng Please all stand. Please be seated. Pumila na lang po kasi kung sino po yung papalagay sa ng abu.
¿Qué hiciste? Having begun our Lenten journey, we beg you, O Heavenly Father, for the grace of genuine repentance and compassion toward each other. With firm faith, with firm faith we pray, renew your life in us, O Lord. Renew your life in us, O Lord. Father, help us to discard any religious displays that are insincere. May we strive to cultivate a richer prayer life centered in your word, we pray. Renew your life in us, O Lord. Father, help us to be more keen to the voice of Christ, appealing to us through the cries of the poor, the hungry, the despised, and the lost, we pray. Renew your life in us, O Lord. Father, help us to fast from the harshness and arrogance in our actions. May we follow faithfully the health measures set for us so that we may be spared from the discomfort and sickness caused by COVID-19 virus, we pray. Renew your life in us, O Lord. Father, help us build bridges of faith, hope, love, and mercy between enemies. May we be free to let go our grudges and strive for reconciliation, we pray. Renew your life in us, O Lord. Father, through the power of Jesus' cross, May our beloved dead enter the eternal life, we pray. Renew your life in us, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for the safety of all those who will be traveling today. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew your life in us, O Lord. God our Father, our help and strength by the grace of your Spirit, Enable us to live in greater fidelity to the gospel of reconciliation and rejoice in the peace it offers. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleanse from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so, we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may may to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Please My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray the forthcoming elections. We truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. 
Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in your holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a, hel a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please the be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, you are cordially invited to come to the following services of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Confession, Monday to Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. at the Pascal Chapel. Praying of the Reparation Rosary for Truth, Integrity and Wisdom from Monday to Saturday at 5.40 a.m. Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and Benediction, integrated with the Office of Readings and Evening Prayer, every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. Station of the Cross every Friday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Pour out a spirit of compassion, O, Lord, o God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. For the prayer for the sick, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them, humble illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries. Analysis articles and images in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and analysis articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.